The highly anticipated second summit between the U.S. president and the leader of North Korea has ended with, well, essentially nothing. No new agreement regarding denuclearization, no verifiable freeze on North Korea's nuclear program, no lifting of Washington's sanctions on Pyongyang, not even lunch. Well, Mr. Trump indicated there just wasn't a deal to be made this time. Sometimes you have to walk. but We had to uh, walk away. For this particular visit, we decided that we had to walk. You, you. always have to be prepared to walk. You have to be prepared to walk. I am always prepared to walk. I'm never afraid to walk from a deal. Now, Mr. Kim was demanding total sanctions relief in exchange for only partial denuclearization, but that plan just wasn't going to work for the U.S. president. And yes, the two were friendly as they strolled around the pool in Hanoi, but let's not forget how things stood not that long ago. The United States has great strength and patience, but if it is forced to defend itself or its allies, we will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself. That seems like ages ago, but that was less than a year and a half ago when Mr. Trump was speaking at the United Nations. Uh, Mr. Kim fired back with, quote, I will surely and definitely tame the mentally deranged U.S. daughter with fire, unquote. Now, just two months before that, on July the 4th, 2017, American Independence Day, North Korea conducted its first successful test of an ICBM, an intercontinental ballistic missile, which led to a massive escalation in tension. North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. But North Korea's nuclear ambitions didn't let up. More missile tests, more photos of supposed hydrogen bombs. And the new year brought new insults. Remember that infamous, my nuclear button is bigger than yours exchange that we all saw on Twitter. But suddenly, a few days later, the White House said that it was willing to hold talks with North Korea. And in March, after the Olympics in South Korea, Mr. Trump accepted North Korea's invitation to meet. High-level talks went on behind the scenes in Pyongyang. And in April, Mr. Kim announced that North Korea was suspending all nuclear tests and shutting down a nuclear test site. Then we saw Moon Jae-in shake hands for the first time with Kim Jong-un, setting the tone for the first summit that would eventually happen after a few major hiccups between Mr. Trump and Mr. Kim in June of 2018. Denuclearizing North Korea, we have a wonderful relationship going between our country and them. We're being helped a lot by Japan and very much by President Moon of South Korea, and North Korea is going along very well. We really have made a tremendous amount of progress since this time last year. And sure, those first talks were unprecedented. They were surreal, even triumphant in some ways. Uh, Pyongyang had been asking for years for a meeting with the sitting U.S. president, and it got one. Washington didn't want North Korea to test any more missiles, and it hasn't since. But there were no new verifiable written commitments toward denuclearization then. And as President Trump departs Hanoi this time, the world is still asking, what's changed?